about right, right. what's going on in your latest project. Hey man, uh, again with my latest project, Truth Music, um, God really just spoke to me about the importance of, of being set apart, you know, and being uh, sanctified, and even in the music, uh, because uh, in this particular art form, it has such a powerful influence over individuals, you know, in and out of the body of Christ. If you recognize, I'm sure, you know, you all, depending on what type of mood you're in, you can go and find a song that will, will speak to you at that particular time. And uh, with Truth Music, God wanted me particularly to speak to individuals that's into uh, the rap and the hip hop, uh, which is what I'm in myself. So uh, he gave me a bunch of different things to talk about. He blessed me with a, a lot of individuals to, to just co-labor and minister with me. And some of the songs, I try to touch on a lot of different issues, but, uh, specifically uh, one song I have is called Celebrate My Life. And I started to see God was showing me just how sometimes we take life for granted on a day-to-day -day basis and, and, and not even, you know, intentionally. You know, you could just forget about different things to just be grateful for. And, you know, it, it always saddens me that once an individual passes on, then you hear all of these great things about them. You yes, know, there's all yes, this encouragement. Yes. And it would be good to get that while we are alive. Yes. You know, to let your brother know how much you appreciate him, how much you love him, how great you think he is, yes. you know, yes. with his gift and with his ministry. So in this song, I talk about, um, you know, the, the importance of that and also to, to just living according to the word of God, you know, but that, you know, you don't necessarily have to always have a stick in your back. It's yeah. okay to, you know, to have joy <laughs> in the Lord, to have fun, Amen. things of that nature, Amen. you know. So Amen. I try to talk about a bunch of different things. Uh, also, uh, there's a song I have called Open Door that features uh, Pastor Judah Early uh, out of Cleveland as well. And with this song, I'm just talking about basically how sometimes it seems like every door we come to, is closed on us. Wow. But how wow. God, some, a lot of times, intentionally closes doors so that he can open up a door that no man can shut. Wow. And he opens doors that no, you know, or closes doors that no man can open as well. And in this song, I'm just talking about me personally to where even within my gift, at one point, I wanted to give it up because I didn't see the results that I thought that I should be seeing. And then God started to reveal to me that, you know, this is where he would have me, even though this being the uh, mm -hmm. non-traditional protocol, I guess, right. so to speak, Amen. with, the, with Amen. the rap music, you know, just showing me that, you know, this is speaking to lives and ministering and saving souls and teaching about the gospel. Because a lot of people, when they hear rap, right. the first thing right. they do is go like this, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. sit back and they throw up an X, and we don't want anything to do right. with that. Right. So what you've done is you, you've taken a genre, and you're mm -hmm. reaching the community of people with the Word of God. Right. Is it primarily for the younger generation, the middle age? What do you find? Whom do you find mm -hmm. embracing your style of, of music? Well, it's interesting you ask me that because actually uh, the Lord convicted me with, I, I was focused primarily on, you know, the, the generation uh, that I came up in and also after me. But then individuals will start coming from all walks of life saying that they heard something and how it spoke to them specifically mm -hmm. older younger different nationalities uh, different uh, financial backgrounds and all types of things and god really just is moving in such a way that is blowing my mind mm -hmm. uh, and i wanted to say with that you know because of the uh, negative connotation that rap has which is somewhat to be expected because even uh, as far as Christian rap goes, everything that necessarily has that Christian label on it isn't necessarily edification. Right. That's right. You know, it's That's not right. necessarily building you up or it's not That's necessarily right. the word of God within itself. So you have to be careful. You have to discern. You know, you have to, uh, you know, listen and, j and just kind of know and have a relationship with the Lord for yourself. I wrote a song called It Ain't Clean. And in this song, particularly, mm. I talk about the fact that uh, music, you know, gospel is not just music without cursing. Because you okay. can easily turn on the radio and they may, you know, the FCC or what have you, yes. they take different words out like that, but it still may be poisoning you or killing you. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I talk about the importance of just speaking God's word in this song, It Ain't Clean, and also to be aware of what it is that you're downloading to your spirit. All right. Uh, Brandy Wine, we're coming, but I want to ask uh, the answer. One more question. Is, uh, I want to ask, how does... Uh, the church fitting into this. I mean, where is where is the, your music fitting into the church? Is it a Sunday morning, Sunday evening, weekend? Where where does it fit at exactly in the church? You know what? Uh, with the church, it was initially it was more so the the Friday youth events and things of that nature. But uh, as I said earlier, you know, 
you study the word of God, you know the Lord, you have a relationship with him. So when you hear his word and then you also recognize the impact that it has on people, you know, that's something that all of us want to be a part of. You know, he told us to take the gospel into all nations. So if it's an effective tool of ministry, you know, why not have it? And you know, my pastor in particular and other pastors have been inviting uh, my wife and I to do uh, Sunday services and things like that. And, you know, when you first you first get the, you know, that look, well, what is this? <laughs> Especially when you say rap. But you know what? After the word goes forth, it does not return void. God has been um, blessing. His name is being lifted up. And people are receiving something that they had no idea about. God is not limited to what we Amen. typically know. He's not confined right. to a exactly. box. That's where right. we as a people try to mm -hmm. put God mm -hmm. he, in the box. He, he knows right. how to do ministry outside the box. Definitely. Now, Sister Brandy, yeah, why, I, I see that you have a project as well. Yes. Uh, and and tell, tell us more about your project. Where did it come from? And sure. uh, what's, what's all included and how... Uh, it, it's a blessing to all people. Please t tell us. Sure. Um, God has blessed me to be able to be the publisher and author of three books, and I have a spoken word album out as well. The first book is entitled Redeemed from Earth's Gravel to God's Glory. Wow. And um, even when I looked up the word redeemed, um, some of the definitions were to buy back, to repurchase. That's right. And when I read all of that, those were all the things that Jesus did for us on the cross mm. at Calvary. And so at the point from my testimony, the things that I went through, I felt very low. You know, I felt um, given up on by God. I felt a lot of things that were lies from the enemy. The Bible calls him the father of lies. And so, you know, even sitting here, I'm very humbled and trying to keep it together because it was a point when I felt so low, but to know that God would bring me even here, wash me up and wow. use me yeah. as a trophy yes. to speak to his people. And, and yes. basically that book was healing for me. Yeah. So it's a book of short stories and spoken word. Um, the second book that we talked about, he kept his promise. How do you stand on the word of God when your legs yeah. of faith are broken? Amen. Amen. And then my latest book is called Redeem, to speak life into others. Mm -hmm. You know, I had my opportunity to go forth and share my testimony, so now it was time to tap into other great people and their testimonies and allow them to speak the unadulterated word of God as well. So this book that is right there, it holds testimonies from um, women who were strippers who are now praise dancing for Jesus. Amen. Um, people Amen. who were on crack delivered and now going out into, you know, my brother Eric now going out um, and speaking life about the same thing that he went through, getting other people off drugs through Jesus Christ. So right. it's an exceptional book of deliverance. Wow. So it is a collection of, of testimonies, yes. not only your testimony and your husband's testimony, but others that, that you have come into contact with over the years. Yes. Now, is your, your project uh, with, with music in the background as well? Yes. Now, that's my spoken word CD, and it's called I'm Not Ashamed. And Amen. it comes from Romans 1 and 116. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And so, yes, um, some of the tracks on there are acapella, and um, some of them have sounds that are produced by my husband as well. He did the tracks for. Amen. So it just gives you a variety, you know, to listen to to kind of get the emotion flowing behind them. Amen. Now, let me ask this. When you say that you're going out and speaking to other churches, getting invited, uh, you have the authorization and the push from your own church yes. uh, and passion and support to go. Now, do you go separately, individually, or do you both go as a tag team uh, and you preach a little while, she preach a little while, and y'all preach together? How, how does that work? Right. Both. Um, both. It just depends on what the assignment is. Um, sometimes it may call for just my husband to go or just um, for me to go. But um, lately, God has been calling us to go together. And so that's been a great pleasure because it allows us to work together in a partnership for ministry. So that's awesome. Where, where do you see your ministries going uh, this time next year? What is the vision that you have uh, for the truth and brandy wine? Where, what other promises has God revealed and shown you uh, that you're moving towards? You know what, uh, we, we've been talking about it a lot lately, and we've just had to take the limits off of God. Yes. I mean, even this year of loan, he's done so much. I mean, he's mm -hmm. taken us lots of different places, whether TV or radio, and just some of the opportunities that he's given us to just speak on his behalf and be an advocate Amen. of the word has been mm -hmm. such a blessing. You know, I, I see great things. Mm -hmm. I see, you know, farther than I can see or or even touch, you know, I, I, I have no idea where he's going to take us, but I know it will be something phenomenal, and I'll look back like, wow, Lord, you know, you 
would choose to use us on this type of platform, yes. on this level. So, mm. and, and for me, I see a global healing ministry. Mm. You know, I see God enabling the same things that he's delivered us from, that um, we will be the catalyst to encourage other people that the same thing that used to be their misery will be their ministry as well. So wow. that wow. Um, we will take over globally speaking God's life and God's word wow. because our time is now. Wow. So. Wow. I, I believe that that's going to happen globally, internationally even, wow. if God wants it to. So I see that happening. Wow. I, I, think, I think that's very powerful because what you're saying is no limits. Mm -hmm. We're going globally mm -hmm. and we're not afraid of our past. Mm -hmm. Have you ever mm -hmm. experienced God um, taking your past, being a blessing to others, but then there's another group of people who want to hold you captive yes. in your past. Oh, so how yes. do you respond to people mm -hmm. who try to hold you captive in, of your past? Because you, you keep referring to it, you keep mm -hmm. sharing it, you yes. keep talking about it, and it's like you're not ashamed, right. uh, as you said, but yet there's some people want to keep you captive. How do you respond to that while you're moving forward? You know what, it, it, it never feels good to be you know, attacked per se. But I tell you what, when you know that you know that you know what God has done for you and Amen. that he has called you according to his purpose because you love him, um, you know, there's nothing really anyone can say, you know, that will really stick. You know, no weapon that is formed against the shell prosper, as you mentioned earlier. You know, it does, you know, it doesn't feel good. And sometimes you, you your flesh wants to lash back out, you know, but then Amen. again, you have to remember yeah, that well, God delivered you. Amen. He forgave me. Amen. Right. You know, and that's all that counts is that, you know, I'm in right standing with him. But it's also, you know, good to, as a tool to just minister even more. Yeah. Because the enemy is mad. If we, were, if we weren't getting any adversity, well, we wouldn't necessarily be doing damage to his kingdom. Amen. So, Amen. I mean, we're lifting up the name of the so Lord. We so we're expecting in challenges. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I just wanted to add to that. The beauty of it is that that's who we used to be. Mm -hmm. And Amen. so mm -hmm. when I told you even how I used to fornicate, I used to drink, I used to smoke, mm -hmm. One of the most empowering things about it is that now I am qualified to go to that alcoholic, <laughs> to go to that person who's fornicating Amen. and speak life because I know it. That used to Amen. be me. And Amen. God brought me up out of that and delivered me. So now he'll do it for you. So mm. I'm a believable witness because Amen. I'm talking about something I've been through. Amen. And so I can tell you to come out of this and the road that you're going down, you don't want to go through. Amen. And then too, it just empowers the scripture that all things work together for the good Amen. of those Amen. who Amen. love God and are called. So Amen. That was for my good. I went through that then so I can come and speak to you. Amen. So now you come on up out of this thing. Let God bring you out so you can go and speak life to somebody Amen. else. Let's keep rescuing each other. Amen. I think, I think that's very powerful that you allow your testimony uh, to be a, a strong witness because we certainly are overcome by our testimony yes. and the word and the blood, the of, the blood of the Lamb. Blood of the Lamb, So yes. that's, that's what's very powerful. And I'm going to be praying with you. I'm going to be praying for you that God continues to bless uh, your ministry that where you go and Thank you will open you. up those doors internationally because it's grassroots ministry that you have, that you're doing right now that reaches people where they are to change them and then to transform them. So we have uh, just a few more seconds to go here. So I, I want to just close uh, in praying with you and praying for you. Thank you. Uh, and then also uh, to encourage you to move forward and get last words and remarks from you, uh, both regarding your projects and what you're doing. And we're going to just believe God. Okay. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Father, we thank you for grace and peace. We thank you for the power and presence of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for Diane and Brandywine, their Thank ministry, God. and others like them. Our prayer is that you continue to raise them and to use them as a living testimony for you to transform and touch lives all over the world. Yes, yes God, open up doors and opportunities for greater ministries and then a response from their audience. It's in your son Christ's name we pray. Jesus. Amen. 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 This is my prayer for you, and I believe God, I trust God. He's going to do great things yes. in your life, not only your lives, but there will be an overflow into your children's lives as well. Amen. 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 So everyone who has been watching uh, this great telecast and this broadcast today, our prayer is that you have been blessed by their witness and by their testimony, and that you will continue to trust God no matter what takes place in your life. God is not like man that he should lie, but he is God, Jehovah, the ruler, creator of the heavens and the earth. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hold on and endure until the end. It's not over. No matter how tough, no matter how dark the days, it's not over until God says it's over. He may simply be setting you up for testimony.